Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some Cyberpunk 2077. In the last episode we got a face ah. implant. It was um, unsettling. She rolled our face off of our face and then gave us a new one. I mean, we still look like us, but um, technically there's uh, some tech under there. Um, yeah. Lovely. Um, oh yeah, I need to re-equip. Okay, is there a better one we want on there? Cyberware malfunction might be good. 611 critical damage, or electrical damage? Yeah, let's do that one. Seems like a decent one. Weapon glitch would be good on that too, I think. better. Okay, let's call Reed. Mm -hmm. Hey, procedure's a wrap. V, I hope you're not feeling too raw post for Reed's work. It's time to intercept and supplant the Netrunners. Just one hiccup. Our access to Karen Exotics was mm -hmm. cut. They must have discovered us. Wait, seriously? So we lost them? Not entirely. We know they were last in city center. Headed our direction. Find a vantage point near the entrance of Dogtown. You'll grab a trace on the runners as they drive to the meeting. Alright, if we're going to be doing any kind of chasing, which might be happening, I don't want to be on a bike. Knowing how good I am at driving, I'll crash into the first thing and die immediately. Have we tried this one yet? Uh, let's just go with the Vigilante. We're... Ooh, what happened? Where'd it go? Okay, Songbird. Well, V, it's game time. Everything on the line, but I'm with you all the way, okay? Not going anywhere. Everything's gonna work out. We got this. Right, just remember, don't overanalyze, don't hesitate. You'll only get inside your own head. See you soon. Songbird, deja vu. Been thinking about our conversation. Couldn't shake this feeling of deja vu. You awaken a memory that had faded. One I can enjoy again. Let's do this. I think this is going to be a pretty important okay, mission. I'm going to need you to confirm a V. 
vigil for me. Scan the vehicles in your area. One's bound to be there. No sign of their ride. See a convoy. Hanson's goons. Doubt the runners would have a security escort, though. I'll keep watching. Mm, additional support for the stadium, most likely. No visual on our targets. Them? Still nothing. <laughs> Still nothing. They'll probably be in something Got a nice. Total Cortez blocking the road. They're rich the people. Traffic's piling up. First basic, run of the mill. Definitely not them. Yeah, they'll be in something expensive. Looking. I'm assuming that it's gonna be all vehicle. Ooh, is that them? Couple of bikers. Nope. Don't expect they'd swap out four wheels for two last minute. Nah, not this style. On to the next. I'm guessing it's only cars that are coming into Dogtown. Ooh, that could be them. That looks nice. This is Kurt Hansen. There they are. No question. Both runners are inside. Got the signal? Got it. Not gonna slip off our radar anymore. Good work. No okay, good shit. You're just not welcome. Rule three, my people keep the security for the meat when it has. They'll stop. Kill time somewhere. <laughs> Follow the rules or face the cops. Okay, they're stationary. And out of the car. Walking towards the club now. V, you're clear to head for the car. Get to it. Oh, that's our max level. We're there. And where do we put this point? Okay, that one might be it. I haven't really cared about any of the road stuff. That one might be useful for when we go stealth mode. Sure, we'll take that. Why not? And I don't think I'm going to really have to move any of my points around, but we always could if we wanted to. We can basically refund anything that we've spent money on, so... Or spent points on, I mean, money. Here we are. Damn. Dream ride. Hey, you're not there at window shop. Oh. Deja vu. <laughs> and hop in. This will be uncomfortable. Cars cam feeds are mine. Good. Last check now. Make sure you're ready to roll. Should be good. Just give me one sec. Why? What are you doing? Tweaking the ice. Kind of have baked way it's set up now. Fine. There's no unnecessary risks. Wow, a moment of trust there, huh? Okay. Uh, 
even see. And done. Hmm. Not bad. Now we wait. Our VIPs are back. They're about to get in. Time to focus up. Kurt Hansen, tu l'as vu, non? Il était grave en train de me reloquer au Saphir. Hi, banging me. She thinks highly of herself. I mean, she is really fucking hot, but. She is really full of herself. Oh, à moins que ce soit cette putain de gueule de bois. Oh, ça tourne de partout, dans tous les sens. T'en penses quoi De Hanson, je veux dire. Ok, V, take control. Hold on. He's dropping a bit. Could get interesting. Oh, il a foutu le feu au cul de tout le monde quand il a abattu cet avion. Le risque est élevé, oui. Mais ce travail paie bien. On fait notre part. Ensuite, on disparaît. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, putain de gueule de bois de sa mère. Il a fallu que tu fasses ça aujourd'hui. Je t'avais dit de pas ouvrir cette dernière bouteille. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, back in the car now. La voiture. Quelqu'un en a pris le contrôle. Fabrique, sonne l'alarme On a besoin d'aide Je vais localiser le vecteur. Ok, une seconde C'est fait Putain, allez J'essaie de reprendre le contrôle Oh, this one is... really wily, it seems like. Rude Hey, report, what's going on they're playing defense, and they're good. <laughs> I got this, hey, I got this, come on. Yeah, we got this. Use your driver, just fucking stupid. Putain! Oh, 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 oh shit, <laughs> that, was, that was weird. Putain, no, 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 no! <laughs> nice! Good job, team. Oh my oh. god! What in the fuck? I mean, they're not taking any risks, huh? Fuck! You wiped them! Aww. Bind their hands with duct tape, shove socks in their mouths, and wait for them to wriggle free and call for help? This ain't no game, V. No, you're right. Simple choice. You're right. Or us. I was it just shows us. I was just attracted to that hot redhead, okay? It's a damn shame. Right. Greater good. It's really dark. Need to make tough calls. The greater good, the lesser evil. In the end, it's the same. Whatever comforts you and helps you do the right thing. <laughs> That's cold, dude. Uh, they were kind of bad uh, people, so I don't feel terrible, right. but... but... You still need to lift the access codes off them. Aurora's the one to check for those. Sure she's the one with the codes? Definitely. Her brother transfers his memories to external data banks, and he's had these stolen before. They wouldn't risk losing these codes. Alex, you knew about this. This execution. Of course I knew. Textbook move. Not exactly my first mission, V. Call yeah, if like you're gonna replace somebody... If you're gonna replace somebody, I think, yeah, that's kind of a smart thing to do. I get it. Okay, you gonna make me do this dialogue? Okay. <sighs> this feels so fucked up. Expect me to believe you've never taken anything off a body before? Okay, there we go.
All right, code's transferred. So the longer we waited, the further away we would have been. And that probably would have made it harder for us to get, um, to get them back here. Taking the wheel. Okay, so you're going to be the brother. This is some wild tech, dude. V, behavior imprint, now. Check, check. Oh shit, my voice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hang on, that's me? What the hell? Cream, right? Looking good. Give it a whirl. Introduce yourself. Huh. A little miracle must do more than morph your face and voice. Gotta fuck with your hormones like a designer drug. Give you hyper-specific highs and lows to change your behavior. Mm-hmm. Establishes a new baseline. You just gotta say the right words. Okay, here goes. Aurore Cassel. Who the fuck is asking? Hmm, <laughs> not bad. It can feel like a real trip at first. But you'll get used to it. Now take a sec, collect yourself, then we move. Hansen's waiting. Alex, just hit me. This will be our last stop together. I haven't forgotten our deal. My eyes greenlit it. A diplomatic mission. No end date. Call it early retirement. Thanks much, Reed. Okay, let's get to it. All right, stadium then. See you there. Okay, fire starter, huh? How about a little refresher before we arrive? Remember, name's Aurore Cassel. Let me let you in on my secret about how to be someone else. Ask yourself three questions. What do they fear? What do they want? What's their deepest secret? Okay, that's gonna come Put in. That? Don't answer now, just something to keep in mind. And be her. So, Aurore, your thoughts on Hansen? Tell me. So what is there to think? The man is a warlord. Big, strong, but disciplined. More important, he pays much too. And we have deciphered him. Not bad. Specific, opinionated. But you're lacking some color. Hyperbole, bizarre metaphors, huge ego, horror in a nutshell. Big ego, indeed. Okay. Watch it! <laughs> Nailed it. We have arrived. The hound's den. Ready for the next phase. Talk soon. Dream wheels. Reno dog. Could be yours for a week too when you want to taste. Would you order a synth beef sirloin for one lick? Joe, I don't do taste. Stop your vehicle. Prepare to have it inspected. You are good. Come on through. Did you hear? Some Euro trash are coming to see Kurt. 
Let's go. Park. Before we go in, remember, he wants something from us, not the other way around. We are here to sell him Sinoshore mainframe access codes. Stick to the facts. Know who you are and are not. Okay, so press to the right to display important information about the Netrunner you are impersonating. We are here. Okay. Project Sinosher, fashion aficionada, fan of Carrie Urodyne style, spent five years in Lasante Prison, VIP wing. Five years Lasante Prison. Born with GJB2 hearing loss, underwent gene therapy. Ties to criminal underworld in France, where she has a bounty on her head, and blacklisted at the Crystal Palace since 2075. Come. Let's get this done. Shit, man, I'm just gonna leave that shit open, huh? Have a meeting with Colonel Hansen. Checking now, need a sec. I'm gonna fail this shit, I just know it. <laughs> Good, you made it. We haven't met yet. Name's Murphy. Oh, that's finished this quickly. My hangover is killing me. This way. So, Songbird told me a little about you. Said you two hail from Europe. That's right. And... Did you enjoy yourselves at the Sapphire? Police commissioner, a candidate for mayor, the Tiger Claws bookkeeper, all gambling on the city's future together. Figuratively, and not. The anatomy of corruption is beautiful here. Uh, uh, yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> okay, here's our stop. You should expect to have eyes on you all day today. Kurt got a tip. The FIA plans to pull some gonk move. Situation's under control. He Who ordered everyone tip? checked out, though. No exceptions. Many wish your colonel dead. He must be vigilant. Got our people manning the whole stadium. Drone-aided scans providing surveillance support, too. Need you to leave your weapons here. Oh, good. This can only go well. Next, we'll need to run some ID scans. Joke around as we might, get along as we do. Ultimately, I should still have my implants, so this I is will a place still of have mono. Business. You understand. Dude, look at this place. This here's the heart of our little empire. Ah, how you sell these war machines? It's like a car salesman? Kinda, <laughs> yeah. But wholesale only. Suppose you're a dictator from some rinky-dink country. I don't know. Australia, let's say. Tanks, choppers, subs. You want it, we got it. No red tape. You have submarines! Fresh out, but we sure did. Here's something that ought to pique your interest. Remember T1? All right, I'm in position. Prepare an IEVAC route now. Take your time. I need 10 more minutes at least. Not much further now. I couldn't get started earlier without risk of being compromised. And Aurora? The 
should go without saying. But stay in character. I'll do my best. Have you this been way. Dancing since the beginning? Since the op in Night City, you mean? You could say that, but we served together earlier, too. I see. Then he must trust you very much. Pleasure to see you both. Songbird needs a moment to disarm the device. That's her right there. Which gives us a chance to chat. Oh, please, there is no need to hurry. We have a terrible hangover. <laughs> Both of you? A bit of rhetoric. Emmerich doesn't drink, but when I do, both of us suffer. Well, we'll fix that right quick. Do you often conduct business hungover? Hmm. Is something wrong? For always. When your body believes it is dying, it does everything to survive. To be hungover is to be vigilant. Huh. A unique philosophy? One I never heard. Clever, no? It seems your clientele are painfully mundane, then. As you can see, Colonel Anson, we sometimes lack a soldier's discipline. But with unique flaws come unique strengths. I have no doubt. I'd like to raise a little toast to a successful day of business. Well said, Colonel, well said. I am starting to like it here. To your health. I must decline. Your loss, little brother. It's changing the subject. Did you enjoy yourselves at the Sapphire? My people tell me the stakes went high. You two left richer and happier, I hope. We, uh, how do you say, uh, fucked the dog? <laughs> <sighs> uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, it's okay. We will make yep, back the our losses today, and much more. The Black Sapphire. My pride and joy. I worked hard to make it the go-to destination for Night City's royalty. Oh, actually, before I forget, I learned recently that we have a mutual friend. She said you did time together at La Sante. Remembers you well. VIP wing, five years. No, no, this is not something I wish to revisit. Not with someone I hardly know. But she very much insisted. Old Thieves Code and all that. Raquel asked me to say hello. She did her time under Max Security, C Block, said her rat tattoo might jog your memory. Yeah, we were in different uh, blocks. <laughs> this Raquel is clearly mistaken. VIP Max wing. Security is separate from the VIP wing where I stayed. <laughs> Thank God. Ah, it must have been someone like you. Very much like you. He's trying to catch us out. Indeed. How many years have you been in Night City? They say you served with Militech once. Seven years now. And yes, before that it was my mission to plant an NUS flag on this soil. Then it appears to be a great success. The things you have achieved here. Impressive. That flag's a piss-soaked pile of ash now. What I built, I built with my own two hands. For me. Why did you change sides? Because I don't need a convenient ideology to hide my business behind. I tossed the flag, but the suits in DC still remember me. President Myers, too? She called just six months ago, in fact. 
Asked me to help with a mess she couldn't clean up herself. Bureaucracy, red tape, and all that. Interesting. And, uh, she calls, still? Not lately. Her administration recently encountered some, uh, turbulence along its path. Ah, by the way, at the Sapphire, you asked me to contact a certain fashion type. Remind me who? Carrie Urodyne's tailor. Ah, oh, the tailor of Carrie Urodyne. Oh, he is so flavorful. Mm, I must have a taste. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's the one. The fashion world isn't exactly my forte, so I'll need maybe a week to arrange it. Your sister certainly is the more talkative of you two. You noticed? You compliment each other well. Listen, it seems we've got time to spare. There's another opportunity I'd like to discuss. An expansion into Western Europe. What I need is a reliable partner on the ground. Two would be even better. Ooh, I have butterflies. A lucrative opportunity? <laughs> but I shouldn't sugarcoat it. I'm asking for a lot of hard work. Comms channels, supply chains, secure transport routes, the good graces of local authorities. These things I have. The groundwork is laid. Then what more do you need from us? I need an inn with Les Collectifs. It will cost more than your two stacks. Much more. Call it four, then. For four... Mm, yes, contact is possible. Okay, this is the ties of no the criminal bonds. underworld. No conditions? Oh, we oui, one fat, juicy butt. Uh, they have uh, sentenced me to death. <laughs> Yet you're willing to risk this? My 20 cool, baby. For that much cash, I can ask. But no assurance. That would cost more. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds fair. Good enough. Okay, so far so good. Ah, so me. Hi, girl. We can begin. The mainframe is ready. You remember the terms. One of you feeds in the access codes, the other stays with me. I will stay. Shall we? Okay. I think Follow we got me. through, uh, the hard part. <laughs> The part where I have to answer correctly. Dude, she's got no, no bio left. So tell me, how do you like NC now that you're back? This what? While you were waiting, I ran some initial diagnostics. The mainframe is prepped and linked with our systems. She's ready to go. You know, he created this lab especially for the occasion. Tens of millions of eddies invested for your visit alone. That's Kurt for you. Okay. I have a plan in place for when we secure the neural matrix. I'll hack the local net, override its defense systems, turn the whole stadium hostile. We'll slip out in the chaos. But how many would die? They'll die so we can survive. Live. Hmm. I managed to simulate the mainframe's native environment, the bunker. It'll be ready for the access codes in a moment. Listen, V. All hell breaks loose in two minutes. When Hanson flatlines, we haul ass. I'll block access to this room. Alex and Reed are minimizing risk and exfilling early via the route. Here she is. In all her glory. Oh, and don't worry about us. Got that sorted already. Check stadium blueprints. No which way to run. So, shall we? No turning back now. Nope. But we're in this together. Okay, I think it's gonna let me save here. That's good. <laughs> Ready. 
because I have no idea how wild this is going to get. Linked. Is the connection clear? Thousandth of the decimal. It'll have to do. Time to get wet. Actuating the mainframe. <laughs> okay. Hansen suspects something. Just hasn't caught on yet. Soon it won't matter. Mm, I see. It's responding. Stay sharp. Almost open for input. Pete, thank you. Really. Thank you for being here. Just a little more. Okay, your turn. It's ready for the access codes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is going to be like a huge choice. Now, I'm thinking about it. And I'm thinking about everything we've heard from everybody. Um, and here's the thing is that Johnny kind of like, Johnny Silverhand kind of serves as like, a little bit of extra context, right? And Johnny has said that he believes what both of them are saying is true, which would mean that Reed does in fact want to help Somi. How he does it and stuff may still be not great, right? But here's where I'm at right now. I want to believe Reed that he wants to help Somi still and that he wants to keep her alive. And if that's the case, siding with him, she may not like it, but she may survive even still if we choose to side with him. Whereas I think the other way around probably isn't going to go that direction. Not only that, but it sounds like whatever Somi is about to do, Songbird, is going to kill a ton of innocent people. I think I'm going to betray Songbird, even though it feels awful. In the hope that we can still keep her alive, even if she hates us. And that Reed will do right by us. And her. Now, I don't know where this is going to go, but that's where my thoughts are at right now. I think that it's going to get complicated, and I think that we're going to have to suffer some repercussions because of our choice, no matter which we choose. That's just the nature of the cyberpunk world that CD Projekt Red has created. Um, generally, their choices aren't black and white. There's going to be consequences for both of them. I just don't know what they are, and knowing what we know about what Somi's option is going to hurt a bunch of people, I think we're going to side with Reed. And that means we're going to knock her out, and that may make things more difficult getting out of here, because hers is probably going to work better, but costs more lives. This was a tough decision. This was a really tough decision. Home <sighs> stretch. I'm sorry, Songbird. Reed, I hope I can trust you, bro. Because I really want to do right by her still. The neural matrix. Kurt, we have a problem. No. I can handle the one down here. Ugh. I really expected this to work? Damn it. So me. Wait, no. You you don't know what you're oh, doing. Oh shit, is Alice going to die? Oh, but I do know me. Doing what I have to to survive. Fuck. What? What? Shit, dude. It's working, V. Icebreak is getting through. Why? Why are you doing this? Trying to save so me. Who she is. Black walls eating your mind. Nothing. You understand nothing. Two faces. <laughs> <laughs> What? Shit, we may have created more of a monster in this. What the hell's going on? Oh my god. You... 
You killed Alex! No, V. You did. Her death, all this, is on you. I'm willing to share the blame, but not take it on wholesale. You did do that. We made our choice. I had good reasons for my choices. We knew this could happen. I'm Holy living with it. Shit. I'm keeping it. Feels like, like I fell down an elevator. Shit. I think all options are gonna have some loss, and it's gonna hurt either way. Then you. Ah shit. Oh, it feels bad though. It feels so bad. In this same instant, got back together. Shit can make it go psycho. Well, it did hurry. Call the Sapphire for support! My head! Come on, get that fucking thing open! Good God. That was rough. That was really, really rough. Shit, Alex, I'm sorry. Shit. I'm- we're keeping it, though. Like, I made my decision based on my own internal logic, and... I'm going to live with that consequence. I don't know what sort of consequence would have happened on the other side, um, but obviously we know a lot of people would have died. Um, whatever she was going to do was going to kill a lot of people. Ah, oh, man. Man, that it sucks. That It really does. It does suck. But we're, we're keeping it. We're keeping it. I, I decided that the moment I paused and thought it through, I was like, all right, whatever I actually choose here, I'm going to live with it either way. And here we are. Oh, but it hurts. It really does. Okay, do we still look like... what's her face? No. Okay. V. V, talk to me. So me. She fought back. Jesus. Reached past the black wall. What the fuck? What happened? Lost control. Alex is gone. Alex. Better move. You're out of time. All right, we've got some guns. <sighs> yeah, give me that revolver. Come out, play, you little cunt. Someone shot me. <laughs> we have that long range perk, so we're actually getting decent damage from super far away, too. What was that? Okay, I can't even see where that person is. Can you, like, not, bro? There we go. <laughs> oh my god, really? Really? <laughs> Need those piercing rounds. We just got a katana. Sonic shot. Damn, Sonic shot didn't kill him either. All right, dude's got health bars.
כן. משטה. And we'll pull on that shotgun. Retrieving our gear is a necessity. No, take off. There we go. So we have all of our stuff back, right? Yes, we do. Okay, here we go. So... Revolver... Katana... I don't... Why, like, why doesn't it remember the last, like... Just remember the last thing I had it on until I change it again, homie. Like, for real. Uh, that's a new iconic I haven't checked out yet. It's a power sniper rifle? Hmm, okay. Um, I think, yeah, we're looking at the 05, right? That's the explodey one. Damn, yeah, we're like, I didn't realize where we were in the stadium. Okay, there's somebody above me to the left here. Everybody anyway. 
All of my logic just gone to shit because she's killing everybody. <sighs> Thought I was doing the right thing. But you know, that's how choices happen sometimes. You think you're doing it the right way and then things go south. Everything goes to shit. That's life. Somi, girl, come on. Why'd you do this? I wonder if, I wonder if, like, everything would have gone south in a different way. I, she still would have killed everybody. She basically said that's what she was going to do. So, I think no matter what, that happens. It's just whether or not we're condoning it and with her at the time. Yeah, I'd say. You wish, bro. Shit's fucked up. Shit is fucked up. I'm gonna come and kill you. Half sucking net. Ass-sucking netrunner? Is that what you were about to say to me? Bro. Okay, somebody above me? So, I wonder if now you can't get any of the iconic weapons from the shop that was in here anymore. I mean, I think we bought everything that we wanted from that guy, but you have to wonder. This is going to be a boss fight. Fuck. Kill this bitch. What the fuck? Oh, that's Hanson. That's why. I was like I was expecting these to be like softies. Go down quick, you know. Where'd the other? Anyone come this I see you on the map, but where are you? Ain't pawns to me. 
You'll pay for what you did. Shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit. Man, that, it felt like the blade did nothing to him, didn't it? Interesting. Um, I think one of our... I have to check that, but I feel like the thing that's supposed to automatically proc my heals is not working anymore. Hmm. Automatically heals you when you're equipped health item when your health drops below 35%. Maybe he just did more than 35. Maybe it didn't actually drop there. It just, he did so much damage that it didn't matter. That might be what happened. You need to move, and quick. Fuck. Build this bitch! Why does that cost 83 right now? What? No, for real, why does that cost 83? Which one is it? Huh. Oh, maybe that one was Kurt? I thought the one with the two health bars there was gonna be Kurt. Oh my god, slow down, dude. Mm, no, we'll wait. Foes better than you have tried to kill me. Anyone come this close before? Ah! Close is how the dead measure victory. for a body bag as soon as you split up. <laughs> Hell, maybe you knew all along. Peeps ain't pawns to me. You'll pay for what you did. Just want you dead. You don't expect me to roll over, I hope. Though I must say, I'm disappointed. If Myers ever want me to take her seriously, she'd do better to send in Black Ox. Not doing so hot. Jesus! There's no way to dodge that, dude. He just gets free damage.
Bullshit! What is this? One shot? I was basically full! Unfucking believable. That's upsetting. <sighs> Alright, well, we're at time, so. I guess we're gonna do this in the next one. Fucking A, dude. Alright. Um, this one's a nightmare. This might actually be the hardest fight we've run into. Um, alright, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.